Plus one pick ass for fish and D. New crafting recipe cherry bomb. I just leveled up my mining at the count on account of what I did yesterday. It doesn't take much to get that first level, I tell ya. So what kind of stuff are we looking at today? But first let's look at tomorrow's weather. Or more another sunny day, huh? Just hear the spirits whispering, the spirits feel neutral, okay. So that's pretty average. Queen of Sauce, you don't want to miss this when it's on. I think it comes on like every Sunday or something. And if you watch it, you learn a new recipe. Stir fry, it's a perfect way to get some healthy greens on your plate. Saute the greens in a little sesame oil and make sure to add plenty of fresh ginger and garlic. Now breathe deeply. Oh, that's good. So unfortunately we don't have a kitchen yet. We will be getting around to that. Oh, hello. What you got? Or hi there. Good morning. I noticed that you've been breaking some rocks open and finding ore. That's good. I know, isn't it though? If you want to get the most out of the ores you find, you'll need a furnace. You'll need a furnace. It just so happens I had an extra set of blueprints lying around here. I want you to have them. So, well, would you look at that? It's exactly two seconds before I honk your nose and pull your underwear over your head. Okay, I know how to make a furnace. The furnace. The furnace! <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. I'm still getting over the flu. I can't do that. That's why I didn't do it the first time. I was all worried about that. Mm. So when you smelted a few copper bars, consider having me upgrade one of your tools to make it work a lot easier. Yeah, buddy. Can't wait to get started on that. It's gonna be good. It's a furnace. and copper ore and stone. We need 20 copper ore. I only have 17. So that's another thing we're gonna be thinking about now. Is what we're be wanting to go out of our way to go do. And the question is, do you want to do all that at once, or do you just want to, you know, like, do little bits of everything, and then when something gets ready to upgrade, just go do it? But I can't see myself doing much mining right now, especially with this little inventory space. I just can't see it. Besides, I want to get the money for that backpack, and I still am trying to save money for the strawberries on the 13th day. So, you know, I tell you, you it's, it's all about prioritizing. You can figure out what's important to you. I see you've been exploring the old mine. You've left the adventure spirit, much I can tell. If you can slay ten slimes, you'll have earned your place in my adventure's guild. Be careful. <laughs> so that's another reason to go to the mines, huh? Robin here, I know there's lots of stones scattered around your farms. You have a surplus, because they're having me build a well for you. That's your farm. Service can be a place to refill your watering can. I never really saw the point of wells, especially when you have a pond that's like right here. Like, why would you do that, you know? Okay, so, to water that ancient fruit, that ancient seed, rather. But spoilers, it turns into an ancient fruit. How about that? Who would have guessed? The thing with the ancient fruit, though, is that ancient fruit sells for a really good amount of money, but you're not gonna wanna do that. Mainly because at some point you're gonna get a seed maker. You're gonna want to try to turn that. You're gonna want to turn in the fruit to make more seeds. Now the ancient plant that you, the, the ancient crop will continue to yield ancient fruit, but only is it like once every seven days? Let me double check it. Okay, yeah, it's 28 days to produce the first one, and every day, every seven days after that, it produces another one. So there's a lot of crops that work like that. They'll continuously produce, and I love those ones. Those are like my favorite ones because they're so low maintenance. I want to make a, my decision now about what I'm doing with this day. I've already bought all the seeds we can. Yeah, I need to go fishing. That's all I can do for money. I could go mining, but ugh. but I'm not going to. So we're going to put everything away here. No, I'm not going to put the hoe away just yet. Put the sword away. Put that away. All right. Let's go fishing. Let's go to the hop, baby. Tell you what. I could just fish right here. But I don't remember there being... Much good stuff in there, like mostly trash is all you get in there. And the secret forest place I was talking about before, where you get all the hardwood and catch the secret fish or whatever is to the left of here. Basically you just go straight west from here. Go straight south, we can search for more spring onions and possibly more forageables on the way. It's tricky because the forageables can sometimes kind of blend in with other stuff, so... Keep an eye on it. Oh, there I go, making a classic WASD mistake. As I often tend to do, look at this. Oh, there's bunches of them. Holy crap, there's so many. Oh, um, no, no, I'm fine. Here. 
Okay, see, what happened there was I picked up so many that it filled up to the inventory slot that I had on my currently set. And so, they thought I wanted to use it because I was still holding the button. I can't believe I got that many. That's, like, incredible. It's almost if you can just sell those. Well, how much energy can we use fishing today? Now that we have bait, we're going to be catching more fish, but that also means we're going to be using energy faster, too. So maybe it's good that we have so many of these. We'll see how it goes today. Today's going to be like the ultimate fishing day. Oops. Oh, I always think it's in front of Leah's house, and it's not. It's over here. Or Leia. I don't know. <laughs> An analysis of the plans provided by Princess Leah indicates a weakness in the battle station. So whichever one I have the least of is probably the one I want to eat first. So I have to eliminate that slot. So I have one gold star, two silver star, and 15 originals. Might as well stop out here and get our sea urchins. That'll get us some money right there. If there's anything to get. Some days there's just nothing here and that happens, but... I mean, whatever. Yeah, there's like nothing here. I don't see anything. There might be a clam or something that I'm like looking right past, but... Yeah. Oh well. I saw something over here though. As I was coming over. Yeah, there's a clam right there. Or muscle. <laughs> muscle rustle. There's a seashell over there. But I mean, look at this. I got like three empty slots on my inventory now. I'll tell you what though, it's not as bad as Earthbound. Ugh. I cannot say enough about how shitty the inventory system in Earthbound is. Alright, I have seaweed here somehow. Just pick that up on the way. Alright. Well, here we go, guys. We have 43 bait. Let's do this. It's gonna be a long day of fishing, fishing, starting at 11.30 a.m. Basically going on till forever. It's an eight-hour shift of fishing. Eight-hour fish shift. Okay, sorry if there's a little bit of echo here, but I'm gonna need to turn this up so I can hear it when this goes off. So the sound cue is just about as important as the visual. Actually, if anything, the sound cue is mostly all you got to go on. If you can manage to get perfect, you actually get more experience for that. So definitely go for it if you can. It's not just a little fun thing to try. Elliot, you keep walking around over there. You're making me a little nervous. Yeah, he keeps, like, changing his position. It's a little weird. I don't know if it's just me, but it seems like the bar for catching the fish is going up faster. Like, the progress bar on how much of the fish you've caught. Maybe that's another perk of getting the new pole. I don't actually know. Yeah, we're getting stuff here. Oh, look at that. That one bit right away. Oh, no, no, he got away. You can hear like a slight little bloop sound effect if he goes outside of the bar. So if you're having a tough time telling if you're on your way to a perfect, you can listen for that. And if you hear it, then well, you failed. So there. It's just so many little tiny things like that. That you kind of learn as you play the game. You know, just tiny little things. It's the smallest detail. Even like the little fishing bar, like at the bottom of it, there's a little seaweed growing at the bottom. That's just so cool. I love little details like that. Oh, that's not seaweed. That might be algae, then. Alright, what do we got here? It's mostly gonna be pretty crappy fish we catch here for now. If I came here on it, if it would rain, and <laughs> they would actually, I'd be catching other stuff, but, you know, well. It all kind of looks the same. Green algae, plus 13 energy, plus 13 energy. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and eat this. Open up that spot. You know what, I'll go ahead and eat this, too. I mean, might as well. You're gonna eat it eventually anyway, right? Might as well open up the slot. We need to get as much as we can before 5 o'clock here. So, here we go. There are times, even with the bait, when you'll cast it and it seems seem like just nothing happens forever, but that's just how it is. It's like in Final Fantasy, you know, when you have random encounters. Sometimes you seem to go forever without hitting one, and then other times you take one step and there it is. Oh, we got the treasure. What do we got? We got more bait. Sweet. Uh, let's go ahead and 
Stick that on there. Alright. I will not say no to free bait, let me tell you. That's good. That's really good. There's definitely enough bait to get us through the day. We're not going to catch 35 fish, at least I don't think. Depends on how long you stay out here, really. I could technically just stay out here till midnight if I wanted to. That's the thing, though. Get that next cast out as soon as you can. I'm not sure if there's a reason why you would want to get the max length cast. Like, there might be better fish further out or something. But as far as I know, there really is no perk to that. Like, you just cast halfway and it's the same difference. In fact, the only difference really is you're saving times. So maybe you want to do that instead. Like, when you're fishing on the rivers and stuff, which I could do that. I could go to the river and fish. Probably better profits to be had there. The only problem being, well, you know, the time it takes to walk over there and then walk back here to sell them. So what I'll probably do... Ah, more coal. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's see, we gotta get through that. We gotta spend that energy, man. What I'll probably do is get as much as I can before 5, and then I'll swing over to the river and do a little bit of fishing there. You'll see some different fish there. And maybe some better ones, I don't know, because what we're seeing here is really just bottom of the barrel. It's shooting fish in a barrel, but it's but it's even worse than that. Alright, what do we got? More geodes, more frozen tear. You're filling up my inventory here and it's making me mad. I can't get rid of the frozen tear, the frozen tear's good. I think I might just have to get rid of the seaweed. And here's the thing we don't really desperately need. The thing with fishing, the other thing that's good about it is you don't have to bring energy stuff like this. You can eat the fish for energy. You know, because you're going to be catching so many of them. And it's like, a fish gives you enough energy for two more casts. You know, then that's not a problem. I'm going to need to go in there and sell these. I should have done that before I cast just now, but... I just don't want to have to make two trips to sell them, I and it looks like I'm going to have to do that anyway. Ooh, boy. That is tricky. It's more than anything, it's just practice makes perfect on that, you know? I guess another thing that's worth noting here is that this guy is closed, I believe, on Saturdays. So, don't come out here hoping to get any help with, uh, selling. Oh, <laughs> There's other stores in the in the game that are closed on certain days of the week. Like, uh, Pierre's, I believe, is closed Wednesdays. And then Robin, Robin's got a really weird schedule. I had one time, I was trying to get an upgrade, and I went over there, like, three different days of the week, and she wasn't there a single one of the days. I was like, whoa, am I going here at the wrong time or something? She's got a pretty crazy schedule, so... Definitely watch out for that. Or, you know, maybe look it up before you go making the trip over there, because it is a bit of a trek. I mean, actually, it's not. The little shortcut to the west of your house goes straight to it. It definitely looks shorter than the walk through town, I won't say that. Ooh, more seaweed, huh? Yummy. I mean, how much more can you possibly say about fishing, honestly? How in the world? I've probably spent like 45 minutes of this LP, if this is even going to be an LP. Just fishing. And it was like, I've shown so much of it. And it's like, how? How? How have I shown this much fishing? Like, shouldn't I be cutting some of this out? I really honestly should be at this point. I just keep talking because, well, words are coming to my mind. And, you know. It's funny how actually easy it is to do this while talking. Because it's no secret, a lot of LPers will say that talking while playing makes it harder. But, not in case of a game like this, I can tell you that. I mean, if anything, talking will keep you from going insane. When you get down to the nitty gritty, when you get down to the grind, man. Oh, we might have a perfect here. Shit, no we don't. Yeah, the bar also kind of blinks a little bit and turns transparent. Whenever the fish gets outside of it, so... so you can watch for that, too, to see if you're losing. <gasps> ah, I just lost my chance. Ah, oh, he left. I didn't realize it was five. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, this happens. This will happen. Alright, I'm gonna run back to the house. Now, eventually, 
there will be quicker ways to get around town. That's another thing I should note. And that's one of the reasons why doing the community center is a good thing. Because that will unlock a lot of this stuff. Like, well, there's one thing in particular that's actually very useful for getting back to the house in a very short amount of time. I don't know when I'm going to be able to see that wizard. I get a feeling, though, it's one of those things, though. It's another one of those things that's just going to tell me. At some point, there's going to be a cutscene that's going to say, Ho ho ho! I'm the wizard, and I can cast spells. You better come see me. Ooh. Ah. Uh, I'll get you in a second. I mean, I have enough of this stuff now. I can probably just start selling it. Do I want to sell those? I don't know yet. You know what? I am. I am going to sell those. Because it's like I said before, if I want more energy, I'll just get it from the fish. I'll do that. Yeah, I will. It's probably superfluous at this point. I probably should have at least kept out that dandelion. Or that daffodil. I don't remember which one. I never got dandelions and daffodils confused before. Or maybe I just never noticed that it was practically the same word. I didn't need to take the hoe with me either, but oh well. I always take the hoe with me. What are you talking about? Alright, let's get out to that river. I never imagined those could be so rare. Hey, oh, wait a minute. Oh, man, right when I put the hoe away. Oh, I gotta see what that is. I don't care if it is a long walk back. Jeez, man. It's not that long of a walk. If I'd seen that out in the middle of town or something, then I probably would have just said screw it, but one screen over, I mean, come on, dude. We gotta see what this is. All right, hello, Sesame. It's a book. What did I tell you? I knew, I knew I wasn't gonna regret that. The thing is, with the lost books, though, I think all those are is just secrets in the game, like secret tips about the game that you might already know anyway, if you played it before. So, because you can go to the library and see what the books say once you found them. All right. Anyway, so river fishing. Here we go. Let's see if we can find a spot. You want to try to hit the blue water if you can. The dark blue water, I mean. So in this case, we definitely want to max... Ooh, that's not going to get us there. Uh, do I pull this back in? I'm going to wait. Let's see what we got here. All the way on the left side of the screen. This is called leftist fishing. Smallmouth bass, baby. See, now we're getting some different stuff here. I'm curious what this sells for. No, oh, that's... Oh, man. Okay, I'm gonna try a different part of the river here. Let's at least find a place where I can reach the deep water. As you continue to level up, you will be able to reach it better. Oh, there is no deep water over here. Okay, you know what? I'm, I'm not, I don't care. I'll just fish somewhere. Do something. No, nope, no. Nope. So this is the problem with fishing in the shallow water, is you get a lot of crap. Like broken glasses and crap. And eventually there is actually a machine you can build that converts all the trash you get from fishing into good stuff. Like actual good stuff. Well, I think it's called like quality quartz is what you get from it. They all basically turn into the same thing, but it's worth it. There's another smallmouth bass for you there. Oh man, fishing on the river, fishing every day, fishing all night till we go to bed. That's kind of hoping we'll get more than this though. Well, I mean, we still have an hour or two here, I mean, we will get more than this. More than this. You also want to be sure not to cast too far, or else you just cast all the way across the river into the land on the other side. I've done that in real life before. It's really funny. My bar is bigger. I must have leveled up again. Oops. Hang on. Hang on to it. There we go. It's all just bream. Sid bream. What is that? It's another artifact. Wow. Well, let's keep bringing them in then. I mean, eventually, you're like, artifacts and geos, you can kind of just do those all in one trip anyway. Since the buildings are right next to each other, you can just go ahead and do that. So it's definitely a smart thing. It's only 9.50. We're catching some good stuff here, though. We're not catching a lot of the garbage. I and mean, then right when I say that, I pull in the algae, but... Once again, algae, energy. 
I was all worried about spending on my energy today. I was a little too worried about it. Alright, here we go. Another Sid Bream. Another home run. Tell you what, man. That one night that he hit like three in a row or something. Or two. It's like August 1992. The 29th, maybe. I'm trying to think if that was actually that tape. It might have been a different tape. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure I could probably look that up somewhere in baseball history and it would be totally fascinating to me. Just to have someone confirm that that actually did happen on that day. And so, you know, I wasn't crazy when I made the tapes or I wasn't making it up to impress my future self or something. Like, it actually did happen. Just having confirmation of that. It's like, sometimes I talk about this one episode of Deep South that I saw on TV. And I remember looking that up one day to see... When was the air date of that? And it turned out to be March 30th, 1995. Or March 29th, actually, the day before I made the tape where I talked about it. That's just... <laughs> oh. I don't know why I'm sitting here talking about all this random bullshite. Surely we must be level 3 by now. Oh, man, I didn't get away in time. Let's see what was in that treasure chest. There's a very small chance that you'll get a prismatic shard from one of those chests. I don't know if maybe the game locks you out of that early on, because I wouldn't be surprised if it did. Like, that'd be pretty crazy for them to let you get that that early in the game. But if you see a prismatic shard, do not, under any circumstances whatsoever, throw that away or sell it. Alright, well, it's 11.30, I think we better head back. I'm not going to throw away the broken glasses. We can at least sell those for something. It might be five gold, but it's something. And at this point, hell, even five gold could be the difference between being able to get something and not being able to get something. But yeah, we're getting tired. I'm debating whether or not I want to sell these dandelions and daffodils, because I know they are good gifts for people. Most of them, most of the time they are. But then, well, so is just about everything. Um, I think I'm just going to keep them, though. Let's see if I put the artifact away. Maybe tomorrow we can turn in, because we got three artifacts in here right now. We have this, this, and that. And then we have geodes. We have six of those. Do we have, oh, no, no, we have the frozen tier. That's right. I got confused and thought that was an ice geode. Let's go and put these away, too. And I think we're pretty much done here for the day. That's it for day seven. Man, I can't believe this. Oh, man. Do we really... Oh, wait, we didn't pet our dog yet. Hang on. There you go, buddy. That's a good boy. Level three fishing, baby. New crafting recipe for crab pots and new cooking recipe dish of the sea. I'll tell you right now, I'm not a big fan of crab pots. I just don't care about them. Either just... Not really that worth it. There's the recycling machine. That's the thing that I was just talking about. We we gained two levels in fishing in one day here. Wow, dude. Oh, look at that money. Oh, that's glorious. That's really good. Oh, man. Okay, well. And tomorrow, I think my potatoes will be ready, so... Grab those and sell them. We can go ahead and get the backpack. Then we can start, honest to God, thinking about making money for, for, like, putting money away for the strawberries. Potatoes are ready. Every once in a while, these will actually spawn two or more, or, like, more than one potato. So that's kind of cool. I got 13 there, even though there was only 10 planted. I'm going to keep those on me so I can go sell them to Pierre. Maybe if we get lucky here. Let's see. Oh, how much of this do I want to take out? Wait, let me see if I'm gonna go mining today. Are we gonna mine or we're we gonna fish? Not the land. Let's talk fences. Fences are useful for keeping weeds at bay and protecting your crops. They also let farmers contain their livestock. Fences break down after a while, but stone, iron, and hardwood fences last a lot longer than the basic wood. That is good to know. Alright, fortune teller, tell me what I want to hear. Good humor, Alex, like we're mining today. That sounds great. Maybe if we can get in there a little earlier. Then we'll have more time to do it. I'm gonna go ahead and refill this. See, I'm already seeing, like, 
like a big empty space here where I'd like to be having some seeds to plant. But then that depends. What do you want? Do you want the backpack or do you want the seeds? That's a decision you gotta make. I mean, that's what you gotta do. You gotta choose your priorities. Because the backpack is nice, but it's not essential is the thing. It's not absolutely essential. Besides, didn't I say I wanted to turn in those geodes and stuff today? I mean, if I do that, that's going to take away from my mining time. But the mining time is not a big deal either. Once again, it's all about prioritizing. I'm going to go pee for a second. Okay, so here's the game plan. Geodes, artifacts, sell potatoes, buy seeds. The only question after that is, do we take the seeds with us into the mines? Or do we buy the backpack and just go straight to the mines? Oh, we'll decide that on the way. So let's get our artifacts here. Let's get our geodes. Do we have any other types of geodes? I don't think we do. Okay, let's get on over there. And this is where having those minecarts fixed would be good. So if I had the minecarts fixed, I could actually go up here. Let me just check for forges here. Yep, leak. Thank you. I could go here, click on this, and just warp straight to the house where the geodes guy is. Without having to wait at all. Without having to walk or anything. So that is a great, great, great reward if you can get it, but that requires turning in a lot of collectibles at the community center, many of which I don't really believe we have access to yet. I couldn't be absolutely certain because I don't have all that memorized yet. Besides, it doesn't take that long to walk it here. Hang on. Yeah, glasses. Screw it. We need no stinking glasses. I mean, my inventory is already full as it is, man. Ooh, it's only 8.20. He's not going to be open yet. So this guy might be open. Yeah, he is. Cool. He's picking the banshee. Said that again. Abysmal. Not a single piece in the entire collection. What's wrong, dude? Oh, hello. Jump. What's this? You found something? Let me see it. Yeah, yeah, I want to see it. Remarkable. It's very old. I'd love to study this in greater detail, but it is yours. No, it's not. You can have it. Got a favor to ask. Would you consider donating any new artifacts or minerals that you find? We could make a groundbreaking discovery together. Oh, and who knows? If I, if you keep donating, I might come across some interesting items to send your way. Sounds good. Think about it, will ya? If you decide to donate, just bring it up to the front desk. We can do that. We already have some stuff here, so let me add them. Oh, so there's our library books. Apparently you start with one already. So we can forge over clear out. You know, if you want to read that, you can just pause the video. Well, that's on foraging. Tips on farming. Use fertilizer to improve quality. Yeah, fruit trees. Yeah, we're going to want to grow the trees eventually, but... I'm trying to see if I can spot this other one here. Oh, wait. Maybe it's... It's picked by Marnie. Animals are very sensitive. They like to be pet every day and prefer to eat grass. Alright, cool. Alright then. So let's turn them in, baby. Donate a museum. Here we go. It doesn't really matter where you put stuff. You just gotta fill it up. I like to fill up one table at a time, though. So, there it is. The reward already. I could have saved one of those amethysts, but I didn't. But that's okay, because there'll be plenty more. Flute block. Oh boy. How funny. Yeah, I think we are gonna have to go back to our farm. Like when I was talking earlier about whether or not I wanted to take the seeds with me into the mine. That would kind of be stupid anyway. So, uh, oops. Oh yeah, you can actually shop here too, I guess. Like, if you don't feel like mining, you just buy the stuff here. It's kind of crazy, really. I mean, why would you do that? Look how expensive that is. It's too bad you can't sell the stuff at half price, because that'd be even better. Anyway, um... Oh, did I just water your counter? I didn't mean to do that, sir. Process geodes, here we go six of them here. A lot of times what you'll get from these geodes is actually stuff that you turn in to the museum, so so it's perfect that, they, oh wait, no, we're out of inventory space. Okay, fine. We'll just go back and forth until we get them all sorted out. <laughs> Got two more things for you. We have 
Blazeite or something. <laughs> I got a new reward already. I'm gonna pass on collecting it though, because otherwise I'm just gonna fill my stuff up even more. I really should have gone to Pierre's first, maybe, huh? It's gonna take more time than it's worth. There's another one. And another one. How about that? Okay. Oh, this is so dumb. This is take. Well, the thing is, though, it's not taking that much time because, well, time doesn't pass on the tiny little loading screen in between. There we go. Let's just keep doing this. I mean, I think if this is worth it, though, rather than going all the way across town to, sh to sell those potatoes. Two more. Let's do it. That's stone, and that is... Yeah, that's one more for the museum. Alright. Might as well turn that in while we're here. It's good to just do these both at the same time, though. See, if I had the backpack, this wouldn't be a problem, though. But whatever. So, there we go. Once again... Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and get the reward, whatever it is. Might as well get it now. Oh, it's cauliflower seeds, you know? It's a good thing I looked. It is a very good thing that I looked. Alright, to the other side of town. Here we go. This is actually the long way. But I'm too far into it now to show. Oh, wait, maybe it's not. I thought this went up to that smaller bridge, but I guess not. There is like a way that you can get caught in going the long way around to something. Alright, Pierre. Thank God it's not Wednesday here. Alright, so potatoes, 100. 120 for a gold star. And 880 for the rest. It's good money, man. That's 2505. But now that I picked up cauliflower seeds, I don't feel the pressure to buy seeds here so much. So, backpack it is. Got it. That saves me a trip back to my house right there. Because I won't need to do that now. Even though I do have a lot of stuff in here, it's not so bad. Wait, I don't have my pickaxe though. We're gonna have to go by the house anyway. Okay, fine do that. Why didn't I bring my pickaxe? Apparently I don't know how to plan these things very well. It's okay, it's not the worst thing in the world. It's still not quite noon time yet, so we have time. As long as you get to the mines by noon, I would say you're doing pretty decent. So let's go ahead and drop these. You know what, I'll, get, I'll, I'll plant those when I get home at night. I'll just have to make sure and allocate time for that though. Let's bring the sword, we'll go with the fishing rod, pull out the pickaxe. Don't need the hoe, actually bring the hoe, just in case. You never know when you're gonna need that hoe. <laughs> Jeez. This, I don't know, it's just a novelty item. When you walk past it, it plays a note. It's funny. Actually, you know what, it's quicker to, oh, no it's not, it's not. Not anymore. Not now that I'm on this side of the screen. Get to the mines as quickly as I can. Once again, the mines are another stop. The mine cart that I was talking about a second ago, it can also take you to the mines. It'll take you basically inside of the cave. Wait. Almost missed you there. Thought you could hide from me, eh? Is that energy by any chance? It's not. Oh, I should have brought some food. Why do I always forget to bring food? Why do I always find shitty flowers that don't replenish energy on the way there. Let's like take a nice little good look around here. You know what, actually? Uh, sometimes, since it said the spirits are in good humor, not only does that help with the mining, it also helps with like finding items outside. You find more of them on the days where you have good luck. So that's another reason, it's another thing to look out for on a good luck day, though. That's a little extra energy right there, that'll help, hopefully. Maybe, maybe not, I mean, I don't know. The only question then becomes, you know, which one... You know what? Hang on a second. There you go. Thank you, you're welcome. I got no use for that trash anyway. Let's check over here real quick. You know, if you want, you can actually come over here and visit the house. Proven adventurers only. Because we need to kill ten slimes. 
Well, leave it to me, Sonny. I can do that for you. Or sir. Shouldn't say Sonny. So, but I love the sound of that elevator. I just, when I get to a floor, when I get to a multiple of five and it makes that sound, it's just something about it. Get the quartz, I guess. There is at least one or two people that like it as a gift. I don't think there's really anything else you can do with it. Just try to find the exit as fast as we can here. I mean, we could go for the copper ore because I saw one over there that I just ignored. I prefer not to waste too much time fighting these guys either because it does take time. And time is constantly running out as you're going through this. Yeah, so it's like I was saying before, I'm pretty sure that the way down is not in a predetermined spot. I think the way down just has a certain chance to spawn with every stone that you hit. Because otherwise, there's no way you'd be finding it as fast as you find it most of the time. Unless there was like maybe multiple stones that were predetermined to have it, and it still was like predetermined to be in one of them, and maybe there's just more of them on the lucky days than there are. Yeah, see, we're getting in there. The sound of the elevator, man. Leather boots, yeah. I received a leather boot. Wonderful. I can actually equip this. It's plus one defense, plus one immunity. We're already basically invincible for the most part on these first 10, 20 floors. But a little extra defense is certainly nothing to sneeze at either. I'm just going to avoid... Well, I don't know, though. This the quest for 10 slimes. I mean, I, oh, shoot. Yeah, we got some insects in here. It does start to get more dangerous the further down you go. And look how much HP some of these have. Nope. The one thing I hate is when the slimes hit you and slow you down. They take away your walking speed. That's really irritating when that happens. But it does happen, so might as well brace yourself for it. I'm not sure if the grass down here drops anything interesting. I don't think it does. Sometimes the rocks are crabs, though. Also, sometimes monsters can spawn the exit. It doesn't happen that often, but it does happen. Actually, it probably happens more often than, than I'm implying here. Because I say it doesn't happen that often. It probably does happen like a third of the time or a fourth of the time. Basically, the same odds as hitting a rock. There it is. Alright. I think we might be able to get to floor 20. I don't want to make too many estimations. In fact, I think a floor that looks like this, the one that has the railroad running through it, you don't even have to dig for the exit on this one. Because it'll just have the exit at the end already. Already uncovered. And sometimes that happens too. It doesn't seem... I'm not sure why, but I'm sure as hell I'm going to complain about it either. So this one, you just walk to it. You can just walk to it. Sometimes you get a critical hit too. That's really good. And notice already starting to fill up that second, starting to fill up that second row of items in the backpack there. So what are we at now? Thirteen. We're on floor thirteen. I'm not sure why the number is green, but okay. Maybe it's always green. I don't know. After I beat this slime, I want to look and see how many more I need to kill. I might already have it. Uh, let's see, archaeology, because they're donating new artifacts or materials. Oh man, I needed to claim that, didn't I? I had something else in there to claim. To gain experience, you have to crafty recipes and probably that scarecrow, for example. Oh, gee. All right, well, hell about that. Initiation, okay, six out of ten green slimes. We need at least four more slimes. Once we get that, we're good. What else? Craft a furnace, well, that'll be easy. Once we get, well, we have the copper ore already, so it should be good. Reach level 40 in the mines. <clears throat> Reach level 40 in the mines might take a little while. I'll investigate the community. So, well, shoot, I need to do that then. But those are all fairly easy things to do. Not too terribly time consuming. I mean, investigate the community center just means walk into it is all. Oh, hello. I see you there. Man, I'm not gonna mess with you. I need to find this exit. Like I said, really. Honestly, like for the first 50 floors, probably, or even for the first 80 floors, I would say that just finding the exit is like the top priority. 
Yeah, if the bug is coming at you and you can't turn around, just don't bother. Just keep on swinging like a crazy person. Alright, let's get this slime over here and that'll give us a 7. And they are starting to whittle away my energy a little bit here. Or my health, rather. But if it comes to it, we'll just eat. Because everything that you eat not only gives you energy, but gives you health as well. And that's your health right there. 44 out of 100. I'm sure in real life, if you were at 44 out of 100, you wouldn't feel this good. But then again, if you could gain health by just eating, that would probably be pretty awesome. I'm glad there's not a lot of knockback on those guys. Because there's some enemies where, like when you hit them, they get knocked so far back and you have to wait forever for them to come back up to you because you knock them into a wall or something and they go inside the wall. And then that gets really annoying. I am so... Oh god, can we find the hole now? Oh, this is bad. Um, Let's go ahead and eat. I don't like that I'm eating that, but... Uh, when this happens, when it gets green like this, when the fog comes in, that just means it's like you're get, about to get ambushed. Jeez, man. Seriously, now. It's really a bad time for this. Well, is there ever really a good time for it, though? Probably not. Come on, die, stupid. Oh my god, I'm gonna get myself killed in here. Oh, I gotta get a better sword, man. I'm really in a bad place right now. If I could just get one more exit, I'd get to 15, I'd hit the checkpoint, I could just get out of here. The question is, are we gonna hit it? I mean, surely we will. It's not that hard to find. As long as none of them other guys come flying in here. What do we add on energy? It's 26, I mean that's... Oh, it's right there, it's right there! Go, 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 go! Thank God. Okay, now, hit the elevator and get out. You do not want to die when you're in the mines. That is like the worst, absolute worst thing that can happen to you. Because if that happens, I mean, it's not like game over or anything, but you'll be warped back to your house, you'll get a huge charge for the medical fee, and worst of all, you'll lose some randomly selected items from your inventory. And I'm pretty sure that that can include your sword. Because I want to say that that happened to me once. I don't actually remember the exact details of it. Oh man, I said I was going to plant those seeds when I got back. I wanted to allocate time for myself to do that. Well, you know what? I still have time here. I have an hour. Is that... That is totally a dandelion. Oh, I thought it was. This is my farm, right? No, there wouldn't be a dandelion on my farm, but it sure looks like one right there. Wait, it is. Oh, gee, I didn't know those could spawn on your farm. Jeez, man. How are we on energy? 25? Okay, we're good. Actually, that's not enough, is it? 5, 6, 7, 8. Watering is 2 energy, right? Yeah, 9. Okay. Well, well, if you do it right... There. Now, where's my seeds at? Did I put them away? So we put them away. So as long as I didn't throw them away. See? All right, let's uh, let's get these planted before the day runs out here. Yeah, I think if you plant these after midnight, it still counts as if like you planted them the day before. So I don't think it matters too much here. So they're watered, they're planted. Is there anything else I need to do here? I picked up a bomb somewhere in the mines there. How about that. Bombs are pretty good for getting down in the mines fast. If you get good with them, you know. <laughs> we only have two copper ore, are you serious? Or we only had two copper ore, so we have one less than what we need to make the furnace. Oh, that is bad news bears, let me tell you. It's not the end of the world, but yeah, we did what we could. So next time on Stardew Valley, well... Depending on the situation, we may go mining again. Level 1 combat, alright. Plus 5 HP, not bad. Anyway, see you guys then.